Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we're on episode 303 of the death walkthrough. Last time if you haven't checked it out already we defeated um, King Gobsmack's minions in his castle. It was fun. Um, definitely go check that out if you haven't but today we are talking to Gobbler Slob and others to get a job. Just drop the food directly into my face. What? No food? Just motivation? What kind of monster are you? What? You say I could feed myself? Gobblers really used to be great thinkers and makers? Hmm, truth be told, I've always had this little voice inside me telling me to build things. I figured it was gas. You know, if and we restored the factory here, we could use it to make all sorts of things. Even food! I'll tell the others. That's a good idea. You tell them to get a job. You do that. You do that, Gob. Hey, you're that strange little stranger that's going around filling gobblers' heads with things that ain't food, ain't you? What's your angle? To inform us Nana is keeping us fat and docile so she can steal our sweat to make a gummy army? That's quite an angle. But what can I do? Literally anything you say. I've been interested in engineering ever since that time I tried to eat a clock. Suppose I could give that a go. Yeah, you should do that. You should definitely do that. Finally, I'll have a double fudge burger with cream cheese. Huh? You're here to teach me about history? Ooh, fine. I'm too lazy to walk away. Wow. Gobblers used to be explorers, and we discovered how to work the land here. I weren't taught that in 12 years of Gobbler Garden. I should do something? I have always wondered about farming. If I grew my own food, I wouldn't depend on Nana. That's it. I'm gonna be a farmer. Good on you. Good on you. Farmer Gobbler, man. You, you do that. You do that. I believe in these guys' dreams. They deserve the best, honestly. Let's talk to Rosanna again and tell her that we are doing well and we have motivated them all to, to get a job. Because <laughs> apparently that's what Caramel has come down to. Getting other people to stop working, but making gobblers work. I don't know. How'd your motivational speaking go, kiddo? Wow, I'm impressed you were so successful, much less not eaten. I was pretty successful here, too. The information on this hollow disk was invaluable. I was able to use it to map out the perfect gobbler food for our unique physiology and tastes. The key is fairy dusted organic ingredients. None of the low fructose candy corn syrup junk Nana uses. The trick is going to be manufacturing. What? The gobblers are restoring the old factory as we speak? Perfect. How's about I go manage those efforts while you go gather ingredients? There's an underwater grotto where you can collect all natural Swedish fish eggs. Oh, and grab some jellyfish jelly while you're there. The grotto will spit you out in the gumdrop forest where you can pick fresh gumdrops. Now, here's the most important part, the fairy dust. Fairy guides offer dusting to the tourists for an exorbitant price. Luckily, I have this coupon for free fairy dusting. Now, let's go to work. Right, let's go and, um, get some stuff organic looking stuff and things hopefully all goes well and i remember this dungeon we did this on test drum and i absolutely screwed it up so i'm gonna try not to screw it up this time hopefully but you never know i might but hopefully not <laughs> hopefully not but i might you never know um right so the lake is over here over here so in case you were wondering we do connect both to the black licorice forest and the gumdrop forest at the same time um but you can't go in from the gumdrop forest until you've done this quest Fun fact. Fun fact. But you can go the other way. Or, even better, just use the Nanovator in the um, Caramel City. Problem solved. Even better route. Even better route, to be honest. Right. Let's do this. Um, I have to defeat some jellyfish. So, um, I'll be back in a little bit once we've got some jelly. Now, I've done three fights with these guys. Got the jelly first try, so nothing to worry about there. Um, but you have to fight three different battles. They all pull you. They all pull you, so you have to do them, unfortunately. And this is the last one. Just finished off right now, hopefully. Sounds like it. Yep. Sure is lovely. 
Lovely. And what are you saying to me? Looks like oh, backpack. this is your dorm room back in Ravenwood. That ain't good. If you want to move stuff between your bank and backpack. That ain't good. Now, you need to remember to get the egg. I forgot that last time. It's like right near the exit, so it's very hard to miss. I don't know why they did that, but um, they did that. Only remember because I missed it in test drum and had to do it all over again. That's actually the dungeon where I got max level from there. So, um, yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Right, let's collect some organic gumdrops in the forest. It's been so long since we've been here. Holy moly. Holy moly. So long. So, so, so long. Remember when we first started Caramel and we were here? Yeah, that was ages ago, I know. Absolute ages ago. We're just going to go up this way because there's some up here, I know. Also, a wee little sneaky cut through road. Sneaky cut through road there. We can collect this one. And I think we have to go up the other way. Do we? No, we can go here. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Two. And three. Boom. And then we need to talk to Belinda, who is just over here. Over this way. We'll go down here. Stupid rock. Get out of my way, rock. No one likes you, rock. But yeah, here is Belinda. Lovely. Hello. Welcome, valued customer, to the gumdrop forest. Oop, in a hurry, I see. You'd like a dusting? No problem. That'll be 50,000 gold. Oh, but you have a coupon. And this is a poorly written one that doesn't limit the amount of fairy dust I have to give you for free. <laughs> Wunderbar. And poof. There you go. You're dusted with all the fairy dust I had. You have yourself an old-fashioned delightful day. Yep. Yep. Right, let's go to Rosina. We'll just go use the wee little, little thing that we've done. Hi, friends. Hello. I'm not here to defeat you. Don't worry. I would never do that. Wait, we need to go down this hole. They guard the hole to the lake. The marsh fellow, they guard the hole. They are clever things, Marshfellow. We could have gone that way, but that's a longer way. And we're all about the speed and efficiency of this. Super efficient. I should have actually left a mark, but hey, that's fine. That's fine. Why would I use a mark when I could just not, you know? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Oh, speaking of which. Oh, good. You're back. The gobblers and I have been hard at work, if you can believe it. Come, show me what you've collected. Is she right here? My word, that's quite a haul. I've explained the situation and the need for Splendorphins to the Gobblers, and they're remarkably eager to help. They've earned their treats. <laughs> Gobbleton new we fashioned. <laughs> Healthy-ish caramel delights. Lovely. I'll take the majority of the food back to my lab for safekeeping and continued study. Can you deliver the rest to the hard-working Gobblers? Start with our new farmer and tell him he can plant the seeds from those gumdrops. Right, lovely. Let's do this. We're nearly level 139. Amazing. Very nice. Very, very nice. Carl, hello. Here you are in your farm. Howdy! I done tilled this here dirt the best I could, but ain't nothing grow. I even tried yelling at it. Oh, I'm gonna give up and take a nap. You have food for me? Thanks! <laughs> Mmm, I didn't know food could give you energy. Wish there weren't all these little rocks in it, though. Ugh. What? They're seeds? And I plant them and then more gumdrop trees grow? Wow, your magic is fascinating. You should go show Gob the Builder. Lovely, Gob the Builder. What a name, what a name. They, they love to do the wee little references, it's great. Hey, wizard! Like what we done with the place? We made great progress. Uh, that is until I sort of kinda eat all my tools. Sorry. Ooh, but now I can eat. Uh, what is this? Fish eggs? Gross! <laughs> Delicious. Thanks for the grub, but, uh... I still need tools. There's an old store where I used to go eat tools. I mean, uh, visit. But it got overrun by trolls. Could you go in and rustle up some tools? Yep, because why would anything be easy? Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, let's go and 
to the abandoned store because surely nothing bad could be here. And look, it has tools on it. Wow, it's as if it's the tool store. The tool store. I wonder how many are left. I wonder how many are left. What are those? Are they... What ones are those? They're mallow pips. Mallow pips. Mallow pips, everybody. Mallow pips. Go away, Jesus intruder. Trolls need intruders. Yeah! Why? Why you say we need them when we want them go away? You Not need. Need. No time explain homophones. Just squeeze and twist intruder like dough. Right, I'll be back once we have defeated these guys, since we've defeated them so many times before. Right, I am back. Hello, we defeated them. Cinnamon troll over here was... Or red velvet troll, I should say, was a little bit tougher than the others. But that's fine, we managed to do it. Ugh, intruder take what intruder want. Trolls go by. What trolls go by? Trolls no have no money. Hey, wait for me. Annoying trolls. There we go. Chat, annoying trolls. Right, let's go to Gob the Builder again. I need to actually clear out my bag, so I will go do that in just a second. I need to go sell a whole bunch of stuff. Um, oopsies. Oopsie daisy. I definitely, definitely need to do that. So I'll do that. Once we've talked to Gob over here, I'll take a wee little quick break. Mmm, these are some delicious looking, I mean, sturdy and useful looking tools. Definitely not as appetizing as fish eggs. With a full belly and a full toolbox, I'll have the exterior of this factory all spiffed up in no time. The inner workings, well, that's another story. After a furious start, I ain't heard a peep from inside in a while. Unless there's a sawmill in there. I suspect the engineer fell asleep. Okie dokie. Level up. There we go. Look at us go. 139. Fantastic. Nearly there. One more level to go. One more level to go. Okay, can we just get you out of here, please? Thank you. Thank you. Ain't needing that. I think he's asleep. Or he's just staring deeply into the controls. <laughs> Huh? What? Oh, hi. Sorry, I've been auditing factory equipment, but there's just so much to do, and I keep falling asleep standing up. The equipment is run down, but operable. The problem is our power source, the Fizzle Pebble Generator. She's kaput. I can bypass the broken elements, but we'll still need something to supply the kinetic energy. I was thinking... Gobblers on treadmill. Not only will that provide the energy to run the factory that's making healthy food, it gets gobblers exercising and producing more splendorphins. I can round up the runners if you can procure the treadmills. There should be plenty in the gym the witch uh, Rosina hangs out in. Good luck. Right, let's go get the things, the treadmills, just before the next fight. We'll take a break because we won't be getting anything for now, at least. So that's good. That's good, and I want to try and get as much done as possible, as quickly as possible, because we are closing in on the end. Closing in on the end of this, not only this area, but also the walkthrough again. So sad. Then we have to wait a whole nother year for it to come back. It's so sad. Um, but yeah, speaking of the end, the last episode will be streamed here on YouTube. So that's fun. Hey, kiddo. I've almost got the Splendorphin samples ready to go. What are you up to? On a run for treadmills? Take your pick. But why? The factory is going to be gobbler powered, with the byproduct being Splendorphins? Genius! I love it when a plan comes together. Once you've delivered those treadmills, bring everyone outside. I've got an announcement to make. Right, let's collect these treadmillies. Kabam. And go bring them to Jeff. And then gather everybody up and they have a big announcement to make and then I think we're done with Gobleton from memory from memory which is pretty good pretty good pretty good right let's bring the treadmills over here -na 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 -na. -na 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 -na. hello that was fast maybe we should put you on a treadmill huh <laughs> just kidding gobblers on your marks get set go Run! Yes, yes. The generator has come back to life. 
The factory is alive. The gobblers are alive. Gobblerton is alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> <clears throat> that is, the, the factory is up and running. And just in time for Rosina's announcement, you say? Ha! Huh. This being efficient thing is great. Right. Let's go and attend Rosanna's speech in Gobbleton because that sounds like a good idea. Hopefully things go well. We'll find out, I guess, what she's going to say right about My now. fellow gobblers, I stand before you now not as a witch, but as a gobbler. And on behalf of Gobbleton, I wish to thank our wizard friend here. Here, here! <laughs> But the biggest thanks goes to the citizens of Gobbleton for standing up, not just for what's right, but for their minimum daily activity. It's this resolve that is allowing us to shed the yoke of Nana's oppression and get back to being thinkers, makers, and foodies. We'll do nothing of the sort. In fact, you'll do nothing at all. Tis the Gobbler Code. <laughs> Not to mention the will of your king. <laughs> Nuts to that. What's King Gobsmack, or any king for that matter, ever done for us? Also, I'm gonna start growing peanuts. Because I can. Good on you, Carl. Good on you. What? What? Bu bu Ooh, I demand you tear down this factory, then immediately resume doing nothing, or else the king is going to be quite upset. Yeah, gastro intestinally upset. What's he gonna do? Hop and puff and burp the place down? The gobblers have spoken, Goba. We'll no longer be pawns in anyone's game. Now, run along and tell the king his exercise plan starts tomorrow. Yeah! <clears throat> Remember this feeling. It's called living. Let us vow to hang on to it, to never lose it to kings or candy or cravings again. Kiddo, a word? Yep. Sure thing, Rosina. You've done so much for me and for my people. I can't thank you enough, but there's one ginormous favor we still need from you. Go to Caramel City and confront the Grand Nana. Make her tell you where her gummy army is. Then use these Splendorphin samples to destroy it. Until we meet again, take care of yourself, kiddo. Right. Let's go to the Grand Nana and confront her. This sounds like a great wee little bit to finish this episode on. So we're gonna do it right now. Boom. Teleport. Boom. We're in Caramel City, boys. We... we gonna do it nana must come down down with nana i say she was never good she was always evil it has become true to me now that she was never just the sweet innocent old nana that she once used to be you know the statue i think we just need to pull it completely down that's all i'm saying right i, I like how that's not blue it should be blue but whatever it's fine we need to go in here to find grand nana secret tree more like, nope, don't need to talk to you. Too important for that. Well, hello, sweetie. What can Nana do for you on this fine day? Me? Hurting caramel? Silly scion. Caramel is not hurting, it is working. Livened by a most righteous endeavor. The spiral is filled with frowns and substandard treats. I can fix it. I can ensure everybody everywhere has old-fashioned delightful days every day. Surely that is worth a few furrowed brows and wearied gnomes, whose hearts should be filled with joy anyway, knowing the great work they do. Now, that sounds like a joyless enterprise. <laughs> The perfect task for you. Fight the explodey thing, wizard. Leave the spiral to me. Sweetness prevails. <laughs> Ugh, yuck. Right, we're going to do this just because I think as soon as I walk out, which I need to, um, it's going to, you know, happen with dialogue. So we're going to do this bit here. I bet it's more worth. I would assume it's more worth at least. There he is. And that is why you do not reverse your hurdy with your goody. Wizard, just who I wanted to see. Come, come, let us speak. Right. So, how did you find Gobleton? Lacking in the cavities, yeah? Hmm, interesting that. Could be because there was no cabal there. 
could be because Gobleton is not overdeveloped. Or could be the cavities are random and we have yet to determine the cause. <laughs> what have we learned, though? That the people who look so happy are truly sad. Made so by a mad queen's mad plan. I cannot let that stand, can you? Of course not. That is why you are the scion, yeah? Do not let Nana discourage you. She is not Caramel. I will show you Caramel. Onward to my estate! Right, let's go see Caramel because I want to. I'm, we're going to continue. I want to try and get so... There's another dungeon coming up before the end dungeon. And I want to try and get there so we can do that next episode. That's the plan at least. That is the plan. I forgot you have to press X. We missed the cart. Oh well, whatever. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for today. Don't care how long it is. I don't think it's actually been too long either. Um, but you know, I try and keep these about 15 minutes. So we'll see if we can stretch it out that long. I don't know. I don't know. Where is Caramel? This is Caramel. This loading screen. No, 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 just kidding. This bit here. This wizard is Caramel. And it is time we took our company back from those who corrupted it. It is time for an old-fashioned hostile takeover. I will make the curses. My friend, you are at like a 20 right now. I need you to modulate to a five. No curses. We must be more tactical here. Right, guys? Right. First, we must hit the product department and the Sour Nana's army of Gumis. Malwa says you found the way to do that in Gobleton? Then we destroy Nana's support amongst the people by taking over? Advertising. We will deliver your factory farm photos to the whole world. Then we take down the dreaded counting crypt, where the power of arcane math provides the true source of Nana's strength. Then, Grand Nana will be alone, with no resources. She will have to step down and let this new executive board take over. Onward to business! Right. I think that's a perfect way to leave this episode in the Cabal Room. Fantastic place to end. Next time, we are going to be fulfilling the plan of taking down Nana. Or at least, we'll be trying to take down Nana. <laughs> But otherwise, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to. If you've already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when the next episode comes out. And remember to craft outside the box.